All right, so here is a study that came from John Hopkins University. This is another instance where we get to say, look at that, we were right again. And people wrote us off as crazy and laughable. And we weren't worth their time because we clearly weren't listening to the experts. Well, we ended up being right again. It's almost too easy in a way when you just think critically and rationally. It's amazing what conclusions you can come to. Doesn't mean you'll always be right, but you'll fare far better than those who just blindly listen to supposed experts. So here we have it. This is a meta-study of 18,590 studies, of which they boiled down to 24 studies that were eligible. Some of the criteria for included studies was that they used empirical data and not modeling. They had to have a significant number of observations. It couldn't involve synthetic controlled studies, and they had to delve into the effects of lockdowns. So a study that just uses a predictive model Model where variables are synthetic and controlled and negative effects of lockdowns are just ignored but then the study says hey we found lockdowns might have some may, might save some people from COVID well a study like that is thrown out and not used for good reason too so they boiled down these studies to uh, 34 actually that were included in this review and they found that quote lockdowns during the initial phase of the COVID-19 pandemic have had devastating effects they have contributed to reducing economic activity, raising unemployment, reducing schooling, causing political unrest, contributing to domestic violence, and undermining liberal democracy. End quote. And they don't even mention the suicide rate, which has skyrocketed. And they don't mention that food insecurity, especially among the poor, has gone way up. They don't mention that raising unemployment has a strong correlation to, to the suicides I just mentioned. So it might even be a little bit worse than what they're saying, probably significantly so. But uh, hey, still good enough for me. A bunch of experts have said that lockdowns are an abject failure. Does this mean we get to say it now without being called crazy? Does this mean our common sense and ability to think critically can now be put under consideration as maybe being useful? Because don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled to see this study. I'm not thrilled that any of this happened. If I had my way, none of it would have happened. But I am thrilled that maybe a few more people who had that, quote, listen to the experts tick might wake up a bit and may come to the conclusion that just listening to the experts isn't always the best advice, because not for nothing, I did that. I think we all did that. I listened to Dr. Fauci when he said at the very beginning of COVID that ma masks might make you feel protected, but it's not really doing much, and it might have negative unintended consequences. You might put yourself in a situation you otherwise wouldn't put yourself into because you have a false sense of security. People might fiddle with their masks too much, and taking them on and off requires you to touch your face a lot more, and you're touching a mask that droplets might have formed on, etc., etc., and so masks might not be that great. I listened to him when he said that and thought, yeah, that's a very fair point. There's probably something to that. And then without warning, that just became heresy to even mention, and he himself would de demonize people for making that very same point he had made just a couple months prior. Well, you know, after that happened, that expert had me a bit confused. Um, but we were just told to shut up. Don't entertain that confusion. Or how about Bill Gates' ex-wife Melinda, who Bill Gates and Melinda were attached at the hip at the time. Okay, she's not ex an expert, but I'm sure she had more meetings that I could shake a stick at with experts on COVID and what they... And, you know, they would have those meetings to come out and then tell us what they support because of those meetings with those experts. So they came out and supported lockdown measures. And if you remember, it wasn't until way after the fact that she said, whoops, we forgot to think about the economic impacts, which not for nothing has a direct correlation to lives lost and certainly for the quality of life of people. So I actually did listen to either the experts or people closely entwined with the experts. And I don't think I need to hear from them again. I am sure Melinda and Bill Gates had a team of experts they met with regularly and knew on a first name basis. The fact that you miss something so massive, whereas some small time little YouTuber like me thought of it the first time I heard the word lockdown is unforgivable. So I don't need you, thanks. Because I knew, I think all of us knew, that this was going to have massive, devastating repercussions in the quality of life of people. And it will end up costing lives. Um, it really wasn't that crazy of a reach. So I always found it to be absurd when people who were pro-lockdowns accused people like us of not caring about people's lives. Nonsense. Because this is not practicing free throws. 
If you're practicing free throws and you miss, not a problem at all. No harm, no foul. There is no cost whatsoever to you or anyone around you for trying and failing at practicing your free throws on the basketball court. Lockdowns are just not that, though. They cannot be described that way. They never could be described that way by a rational person. But that's how a lot of pro-lockdown people did describe them. That's how they did talk about them. It was actually frightening to witness that total disconnect from reality. Just to see people go, you know, I listened to the experts. They said lockdowns are a good tool, so let's do it. And I remember thinking, you know, I don't even know how to turn my brain off like that. There has to be a comfort in it. It's just not in our DNA or something, I guess. I don't really know, but thank goodness for that, because I do not envy comfortable-looking sheep unknowingly being herded towards a cliff. Call me crazy. The only problem, obviously, is that they pulled us along with them. But thankfully, we might be changing directions a bit. In the big picture and in the long term, hopefully we can come out of this with a good lesson. It might be a good idea to put some stock in just thinking rationally for yourself at the starting line because we've all seen that list at this point of things that over the past two years we've been vilified for even entertaining you know mask mandates being largely pointless being vaccinated to stop the spread the vaccine giving full protection the director of the cdc saying you can't be a carrier of covid if you're vaccinated you know, lockdown measures are an indispensable tool to fight COVID. And if we just go hard uh, with lockdowns, we could just end the pandemic. That was said many times. So I don't even have time to go through it all. Um, but we were the ones who questioned or opposed all of that. And we were completely demonized in the worst way for even daring to do so. And we ended up being right about all of it. So it's unfortunate it took this much for people to wake up. Um, but it happened and only good comes from that because if you went along with everything during COVID and you're finally wondering if maybe you've been led astray at some point, eh, come and join us and be the rational person I know you can be because it's only looking worse and worse for the people who decided to behave like sheep. But anyway, please hit the like button. Uh, giving me that quick click is a huge boost in terms of the terrible YouTube algorithm. And if you value what I've got to say, it's a huge help. And subscribe as well. That's a big help too. Anyway, you all take it easy.